But, I mean, I'm not trying to get a lynch mob going for Reggie here, because, I mean, I know that he is not really to blame. Uh, it's, he's not monolithic in the company. The problem is that it's very frustrating because Nintendo hasn't really given us any surefire reason why they're not releasing Mother 3 in America, why they're not putting Earthbound or Earthbound or um, Mother 1 or even Mother 3 on the virtual console. They just sit on it and they don't really t say anything about it. I mean, the best that we can do is just guess and Luckily, the most educated guess is done by um, uh, Tomato at EarthboundCentral.com, who's also a member of Starman.net team, and and Mother 3 Translation team, and he came up with a very excellent post about a year or so ago. I mentioned this in 16-Bit in Gems uh, 11, but he talked about how um, the most likely reason that Nintendo is not releasing this is because of copyright, possible copyright infringement uh, in Earthbound. Basically, that a lot of the songs that were used sampled from a lot of, you know, actual copyrighted popular music, especially the Beatles and stuff like that. And you know what? That probably is it. That probably, that makes the most sense of any reason I've heard of why NCL and Nintendo of America cannot get together and get these things released. But... I say that's a shaky excuse at best, and I stand by that because it's pretty damn shaky. I mean, I made another video, 16-bit um, gems extra, if you will, using just 16-bit games that and showed what they have sampled from uh, they, in their soundtrack from popular copyrighted music. Earthbound is not the only game to do this. And yet, yet, as far as I know, there is no video game manufacturer that has been sued on the basis of their their soundtrack sounding too similar to copyrighted music. The only thing I could find was something from a, a year or so ago where someone, the guy who wrote the UNLV fight song, sued EA for using it in NCAA football. And that is a very special case because EA flat out used the song. Uh, that's it. That they didn't sample part of the song and put it into a different, a new, a new part of their soundtrack. So that's a different case. I, I think this is a shaky excuse. I'm sorry. It's not that Nintendo is out to get us or make us cry or anything like that. But I do believe they're being bad stewards of the series. I mean. They've been sitting on this property for so long, and they will not release it in America. You could say, oh, well, yeah, they, they, Mother 3 came out so late in the GBA life cycle, they couldn't possibly release it in America. Okay, that's fine. Um, well, but the thing is that if they took a year to translate it, release it in North America, that would have been 2007. Guess what else came out in 2007? Final Fantasy VI, released for the GBA in North America. So much was released in 2007. Yes, that was the end of the GBA's life cycle, but that wasn't it. Okay, if they didn't want to release it for the GBA, there was a GBA slot in the DS. They could have ported it to the DS. They could have put a nice Mother compilation, Mother 1, 2, and 3, on the DS. They can still put any of these games on the virtual console. Uh, I mean, it really is just too bad that we have to work on conjecture, because Nintendo is just taking such shoddy care of this series, they will not tell us how it is, uh, what's going on. And that, like I said, that just points to bad stewardship, and that, that is why you have so many angry Earthbound fans out there, because they just are not getting any answers for this amazing game, this amazing series. It's not misplaced generic anger. It, it, this is, we have a reason to be angry. So.